If he sees a cat, he'll immediately stop, just sit there and stare at them. He wouldn't want to move, so that's right after to pick him up. You see a cat and then you lose the ability to walk? Yeah. Let's go. He's always obsessed with cats. He watches the cats at daycare, like an hour plus at a time. Somebody. He'll usually start wagging his tail, just locking eyes with any that'll look at him. We had wanted a cat for Archie, and we actually came from a close friend of mine. So uh, I kind of jumped at the chance. Well, we had to keep him separate for a little bit because he was so high. He has no idea where you are right now. He's looking for you in the bathroom. She can be a little spicy sometimes. I think that she might have been getting a little bit annoyed with the realization, like, you really aren't going away, are you? Once she realized he wasn't going to stop paying attention to her, she kind of just accepted it. He'll put his head on something and look at you, and that's Archie asking for permission. His tail is just ever so slightly wagging. Like, he's really hopeful that she'll be like, <laughs> yes, I give you permission. <laughs> I think that that was like a pretty pivotal moment. That was the first time that they had ever just snuggled on their own. She started going up to him. On Archie's walk, he will walk with them. It's just been a really fun dynamic to watch them grow and become closer. Around sometimes that they're actually just the same animal in different bodies. It's like yin and yang. They are very opposite of each other, but they complement each other in a lot of ways. They were meant to be in the same family. We're just so happy that we could give him the cat of his dreams.